Okay, so this is a walkthrough on using text files in both pseudocode and program code. To start off with, you may need to load up this exam paper, 9608, 22, October, November, 2020, so variant 22. We're looking at question five. This is a question we're doing. Pause this video, give it a go, and then I'm going to show you a solution. Okay, so I'm going to do the solution in Replit, but I'm going to do it as pseudocode. We need to initialize the arrays. That is what this wants us to do, but we need to do it using pseudocode. Now, the array will have 10,000 elements. So it's a procedure. So in pseudocode for procedure, it is procedure init arrays. Boom, we're not passing anything into it. I'm then going to declare my index for my loop. Why do I need to use a loop? Because we need to set up the array. The array is, we are setting it up to be one to a thousand. What we're not doing is not declaring the array. It doesn't say declare the array, it says initialize the array. There is a difference. Initialize the array is putting values into the array itself. Whereas if we were declaring the array, it would be this. This would be declaring an array. We're not declaring an array, we're setting up the array itself. We're initializing it. Keep that in mind. So we're declaring our index variable. We then need to do a loop. The loop will be a for loop, obviously, so it'll be for index arrow one to a thousand. The name of our array is called tag string. It tells us here it is tag string. Great. So tag string index. I'm going to assign it the value. What do we assign it? Well, let's see what the question says. Each hashtag in a single element or unused, so everything's going to be unused to begin with, is going to contain an empty string, speech marks. There we go. It has another one DRA called tag count, which is going to store the number of times each hashtag is used. The count value at a given index relates to the element stored at a corresponding index. Okay, so as we're setting this up, tag count is going to start on a default value, which is going to be zero. <coughs> so this is a separate one DRA and it's going to be counting how many times a hashtag has occurred. Next index, end for. End procedure. Okay, that is this question here, initialize the arrays. That will give us four marks. The next is write the pseudocode for save arrays. So again, pause the video, give it a go yourself first. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. It's a module, but what type of module? Well, it's a function. How do we know it's a function? Because it says return. Apologies for the background noise. It is my dryer. I am drying some clothes, so I apologize if you hear the annoying noise in the background. Anyway, back to this. It's a function that we need to create. The function's called save arrays, so let's do it. Function, save the arrays. What are we returning? We are returning uh, an integer because it's the total number of something. I'm not gonna do my declares until I have finished. So let's leave some line numbers. So I don't know what variables I'm going to use. 
So the idea of this is the contents of two arrays are stored in the file backup. Great. So we need to get things from the file. Existing file contents will be overwritten. So we're using write, not append. Each hashtag and count are stored in one line of the file. So it'll look like this. Easy enough. And these tag string elements are not added to the file. Okay, so what we want to do if we go back to this is we want to when we're saving the array we want to return the total number of unused tag strings so we need a variable called number of unused and set it to be zero. Easy. Okay, that's the first bit. Now what we want to do is we want to open up this text file and we're going to write to this text file called backup. So open backup.txt for write. We're then going to loop through our array. So for index one, two, ten thousand. Each time we go through, we're checking to see if it's used, each element is used or unused. So let's check to see if it's empty or not. So if the array position index does not equal empty then what is it that we want to do well we want to put into a variable and then save to a file our information so we want to save to a file each hashtag and the count so the current count it is on hmm Each hashtag and count are stored in one line of the file. If we go back to this, a hashtag is a string consisting of a hashtag followed by one or more alphanumerical numbers or unused elements, 1D tag, the count value at a given index. So we need to access the count array. Fine, I understand that. So we're accessing two things. We're accessing the hash and then we're accessing the 978. So, I'm going to put into a variable array, which contains the hashtag slash like computer science class or whatever, because it's not empty. And then I'm going to combine it let me zoom out with a comma and combine it with tag count index nice and easy so it's going to basically look like this we've got an array called tag string which is probably got like a hashtag it's gonna have like blah 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 we've then got tag count <coughs> equals and let's say like blah 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 and we're combining these two things together separated by a comma so this is our separator now the issue is that we're saving both of these into a text file. In order to save this to a text file, it needs to be in string format. So we need to, this is great, this is already in a string, so I should have really put speech marks around this like this. But this is an integer, so we need to turn this integer into a string. That's easy, in a pseudocode guide. Have a look at the pseudocode guide. How do we change something to a string in pseudocode? In Python, it's just str, but in pseudocode, it is 
num to string and then in brackets what we want to turn into a string so I zoom out again there we go easy peasy lemon squeezy but now we need to save file string to the file so what we're going to do is we're going to do write file the name of the file again and then the variable we're saving file string now this program needs to also keep count of how many unused as well because that's what we're returning we're returning how many unused what do we mean by unused we're talking about if you've got an array of 10,000 how many empty spaces like this do we have that's basically what we want to return so if it is empty so this is checking if it's not empty I hate my mouse at the moment it's really annoying me it's in my way I need to get a wireless mouse but problem with wireless mouse is they suck for gaming else number unused increments by one and def next index and for close file return num unused end function and then it's just declare our variables so let's give the visa raise okay so we want to declare index which is going to be zero and num unused they're both going to be their integers <gasps> declare file string as a string da, 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 da. done okay so we've done a done b that was eight marks now this time it's program code interesting what is it that it's wanting us to do well it's wanting us to it says values from the text file backup text are stored in two arrays all right, all right, all right. So it's basically getting us to reverse this process. Take this and put them into two different arrays. That should be so easy for you guys. It's easy. It's easy. Let's do it in Python. I'm going to delete all of this. I'm going to make a text file. Let's call it backup.txt. In backup txt, I'm just going to put this in. Now, let's call it def load arrays. Okay, we will need to declare our variables, but as comments, but I'm going to do that at the end. So, what's the first thing that I want to do? I want to open up the file. So, file equals open backup uh, I don't know what is wrong with my typing it's under pressure I'll tell you that now when I'm under pressure I just can't type okay so let's do uh, lines equals f dot read lines great for i in lines Okay, let's see what else it wants us to do. So, load arrays, values for text bracket are stored in two arrays. The number of elements stored is returned. So every time we store an element, so we need to keep track of that as well. We'll do that at the end. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is strip equals i dot strip to get rid of the slash n. We then want to split the split. The separator is a comma. So let's do split equals strip dot uh, split and we want to get rid of the comma 
Then what we want to do is have our two arrays. Now our two arrays are global, so let's just put them in. Our two arrays were tag string and tag <coughs> count. So right now, if we were to run our code, whoa, my electricity just went all weird there for a minute. Let me just so my lights just flickered. That is weird. Okay, f dot read lines. Let's just do. Uh, F dot close. So let's change a file into F. I hate using file anyway. Okay. And let's call load arrays. This is obviously not finished. And what we want to do is print split. Just to see that we've separated it properly. So we should have computer science hashtag and the 978, they're two different elements of the list at the moment, they're one array. Read lines, puts things into an array, the array is called lines, but we need to put zero into here, one into here, easy. So let's get tag string dot append, and we're gonna add to it, split position zero. So it's gonna add computer science class. It's then gonna do 978, count dot append split position one great it doesn't like something I'm trying to work out what it doesn't like forgive me I've been programmed oh it does like it doesn't like it does like it doesn't like red line or no red line make your mind up okay so let's print out tag string and then it's been out tag count. So it should have separated the two, two different arrays now. There you go, array one, array two, nine, seven, eight. Great, but we're not done. We wanna take, make a count of how many times we've actually done this. So, Count equals count plus one. Count equals count plus, I mean, count equals zero. Now, we run into an issue. I'm hoping you spotted what this issue is already. The issue is that this array has already 10,000 elements into it. So it's already got 10,000 speech marks mm -hmm. so let's do it 10,000 of these and what we're doing here is we're adding more so let's just change the code slightly instead of appending what we're going to do is we're going to use our count to help us out. So instead of doing a pen, we're going to do tag string position count equals split zero tag count our count equals split one. So what we're doing is we're actually, instead of appending, so appending is adding more. So let's imagine that we had 10,000 to begin with, and then we've added, so 10,000 empty spaces, and then we had like five of this. It'll give us, our array will be now 10,005. That doesn't make sense because our array would have 10,000 empty spaces ready to be used. And then five at the end, which have been used. So no, that isn't going to work for us. What we want to do is put into position zero to begin with the computer science hashtag and then we want to put into count the number that's what we want to be dealing with so instead of append we're just assigning it into count to count start on zero the next time we add something count will become one etc now for testing purposes, 
I've assigned these values. That is because, remember in the previous question, we set up 10,000 empty spaces and 10,000 zeros? I haven't done that on this. This is program code. And the issue is, if I didn't do this and I just set these to be empty, you're going to get an error. The error is going to say out of range. It's going to say out of range because it's saying put into position zero the computer science in the 978, but there's nothing in position zero. We don't have a position zero. There's nothing in. <coughs> there's nothing in our list because it's expecting us to have 10,000, 10,000, but I'm not going to do 10,000. I'm just going to demo with just two things in both lists, two speech marks and two zeros. Now, the final problem is count needs to be an integer, so I just need to int that, because this at the moment is a string. Remember, everything from a text file is a string. It's going to get me 978, and it's going to turn it into an integer, and it's going to add one to the count. So if we're going to run, <coughs> so print type string, print type count, it should have the following computer science hashtag and then an empty space 9780 perfect I then finally need to as it's a function return my count and then therefore I need to do count equals count load arrays and print count now, if I run this, it's going to say count is 1, which is very true. So computer science 978 and count as 1. Done. Perfect. It's basically saying it's grabbed one line from its text file and has run it. No issues. Final thing is just declare. So we've got count as integer. We've got uh, I and uh, strip and split and as and lines as integers. Sorry, integers, strings. There we go. So that was the answer for load arrays.